Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to uh, another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at EA's change to the way that Division Rivals rewards work now. Or uh, not rewards, excuse me, the way that the skill rating works now. Uh, so I didn't check out the... Because uh, EA usually has the pitch notes that kind of has like the paragraphs and stuff that tells you like the specifics of this. But um, I just want to check this out. Because some people have been messaging me telling me if I agree with this or not. So it's going to be an interesting video to review. So basically, I'm on French's Twitter because French is one of the best people in the community with, this, with all this information, right? They've changed Division 1 to 1900, Division 2 to 1700, Division 3 to 1500, so on and so forth, right? Right off the bat, right off the bat, I'm going to say that's a good update. For the current state of the gameplay content in the game. Now, before I go further into this video, you guys know my stance with gameplay. You know my stance with bad versus good gameplay. You know my stance with how your gameplay is most of the times. You know my stance with the finishing, mainly. The finishing, all that stuff, right? I think that the gameplay is awful. Completely, completely. Because even if it's good, because it's not consistently good, that makes it exponentially awful, right? So... This doesn't change my opinion about gameplay, because the gameplay is the most important part for these modes to be fun. But, do I think that this is a good update? I do, because you've now created a mode in Division Rivals where it's more casual now, right? Where you will sometimes, if you're in Division 1, for instance, I, I have a skill rating of uh, 2415. Right? So I will sometimes come up against good players, and I will sometimes come up against players that might have uh, a 2100 skill rating, a 2000 skill rating, right? Because based off of this paragraph right here, because someone asked, uh, asked, I think this is Jukes for that one, but it was a different one. I think it was from this one here. Um, oh, well, it's the same thing. He says, division rivals will always try to match you with a player of a similar skill rating who is close to you geographically to provide you with the best matchmaking experience possible. This means that if you are on the cusp of promotion or relegation and rivals, you could potentially play against an opponent in a higher or lower division than your current division. So, because uh, people in Division 1 who are right who are right now in Division 1 are 2400 skill rating, right? If you lose a match, you're probably going to lose a lot of skill rating, right? Because if someone is... Well, it's not going to be significant right now because everyone's going to have the same skill ratings as they had before. But if you lose a match with someone that has a lower skill rating than you, you're going to lose a significant amount. This is where this is where the gameplay part really seeps in, and this is where the gameplay needs to be really, really good, okay? Which it's not. And it's not going to be. I don't have any faith for the rest of this year, right? Maybe even next year. But this is a good update. Don't agree with people saying this isn't a good update. And I'll explain why, okay? This makes this game mode more casual. We don't have casual game modes. Some people are upset, because this is what I saw in my Twitter mentions, and I'll read into some of these tweets as well, that uh, you're not going to be facing the same caliber of player all the time. If you want to play competitive FIFA, go invite people into online friendlies, if you want to be very specific with only facing good players. If you want to play competitive FIFA, get past your 15-foot champs matches, go 13-2, and 14-1, and 1, you'll face good people, right? It's not healthy to always face good people, right? So I really do disagree with people saying that a lot because we don't have casual FIFA without having to pay for stuff in the game. So understand, guys. Understand this point of view, okay? Because this update right now, in my opinion, because I think the gameplay content will still be different next year, right? I think that this is a compensation for the current state of gameplay content, because I think the guys at EA know that, yo, we're, we, we, don't, we don't have, the guys who are working there, we don't have the resources to be able to add a new game mode into the game. Because as you guys know, my suggestion or my dream, right, of FIFA would be Division Rivals in its past setup, uh, right? We'll see how they set up their game. Online tournament for the casual FIFA, drafts and then challenges, right? So... With this inclusion in the game, matchmaking is a little bit more open. It wouldn't be as open on online tournament where you can try out the non-meta players and all that kind of stuff, right? But really take this into consideration because they will not add an online tournament mode 
into the game or anything like that of the source for casual FIFA, this is their way of compensating, right? Their current situation of gameplay content in their current game. Understand that it probably won't be like this next year. We're going to see how they revolve their gameplay content next year, but they're doing this going to really emphasize this. There's they are doing this for their current situation of gameplay content in this game. Okay. I'm going to have to read Jukes' tweet here because I do disagree with him, right? So he says, is it known if rivals matches you based on SR and not the division you're in? So Jukes is probably like a super high SR. He probably has like 2,600, 2,700, something crazy, right? Um, so he says, try quote unquote. And he says, yeah, I can't wait to play people with the 1,900 SR awful change. It is not an awful change. I wholeheartedly disagree with that. Because like I was saying earlier, if you want to play players that are really, really good in the top divisions, like I said, get past 15 matches on foot champs, and you'll still find people randomly in division rivals that are competent players, or go invite them. You know a bunch of pro players, you know a bunch of good players, you can just do that. You don't have to do that through division rivals. Focusing solely on only facing the tryhards in FIFA is a problem that's why i liked the balance of the way division rivals was set up before it was a good setup like i said i liked the setup right i like i said i really really because i know the gameplay i know the ea dudes are going to watch this video i know that this is just a compensation for this year i know i know it is they didn't say shit to me but i know it is a compensation for this year they may return it back to how it was in the next year if they have a casual game mode because the way it was set up before was good it's just not good with the current situation of gameplay content right so for the current situation this is a good change because now you don't have to solely play single matches if i'm a 2400 rating player and i come up against what used to be a division 2 II, division 3 player before first of all the gameplay is terrible so they can still beat me i lost to a complete shithead the other day I should have beat them 5-0, couldn't score one goal because they missed the shots, right? Because the finishing is god-awful in this game. But, going to keep that chakra in check, sorry. We're making a video on this on this gameplay content, right? Because the gameplay is a piece of shit. But, whew, okay. But this is a good update. It's a compensation for the current situation in gameplay this year, right? Next year, we'll see what happens. But... I think this is what they could have done at their disposal, right? Let's talk about these rewards. The rewards are still terrible, right? It's just it's just not good. If your rewards in Division 1, Option 1, 80,000 coins. I think uh, when Frenchie was tweeting at me, he showed me that the Rank 1, Division 1 rewards is 80k, and then the Ultimate Pack, and then the Mega Pack. That is still terrible, okay? When we used to play Divisions back in the day, if you played two Divisions in one day... First of all, you were more prone to using more than one squad, so you wouldn't have to waste on fitness cards that cost like a thousand coins. They might be cheaper now, I'm not 100% sure, right? But you were prone to using different squads. I used to have like eight back in the day, so you can imagine how much money I was making every single game, right? I just had to put contracts in there, which was fine. I had a shit ton from drafts. Um, but 80,000 coins is a joke, right? It's 80,000. I, I don't have my glasses on, so I can't see if it's 800,000 or 80,000, but it looks like it says 80,000, right? 80,000 is just not enough for a full week of FIFA. It just isn't. It really, really isn't enough, especially especially playing the full week of FIFA, right? But, but like I said, I think that the skill rating thing was a good, was a good improvement in the game. Um, I think your gameplay is still terrible, so you're still going to get beat by 2,100 rating if you're 2,500 skill rating because... It depends what your gameplay is like. If it's bad, you're probably that's probably going to happen to you. If it's good, you'll probably Shrek all over them. You know, even with the terrible finish, you'll probably still own them, right? But it kind of my 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 way of looking at it is that it makes this game more playable that they do this. It just makes it more playable, right? Because you don't always want to face the sweatiest of the sweats. I can decide to face the sweatiest of the sweats if I want to. You're still going to. If you're a 2400 skill rating, geographically, they will still try to match you with a, play with a player close to that skill rating. It's still going to happen. But you also have to take into consideration, because this is, this is a very important update. The North American and the European guys, we are not the center of attention, okay? 
there's other people in this community too. Because, you know, I, I take into consideration everybody, okay? The Australian guys. God bless you guys, man. Because now you guys can find a game. That's it. That's, you know, God bless you guys. Now you will be able to find a game. This is a good update for you guys. Because Division 1 before, you guys couldn't find shit. I had a podcast the other day uh, with, with, with a, an Australian content creator. With, uh, with multiple people in the chat that were from Australia. Right? If you guys don't know Cripsy, Cripsy is a super nice guy in the community. Did a podcast with him. And, you know, he says, he says, exception, I can only find three people, mainly. And I find the same people all the time. So this is a great update. This is an important update. I'm going to stress this for like the seventh billion time this video. It's an important update for the current, current situation in FIFA 19 with gameplay content. We'll see what they do next year. But it is a good improvement for this year's game. That's pretty much it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, dudes.